Joanna Penn reporting from Sydney and you can see behind me uh, the Sydney Opera House and I'm here at the Sydney Writers Festival and I've just been to the US Publishing Trend uh, Conference so I'm going to tell you a bit about that today. Now it's quite windy and you can see I'm holding my own camera so it might be a bit shaky but I'm so excited about what's going on in publishing that I wanted to do. First of all uh, there were some people there, there was a New York agent, there was someone from HarperCollins and uh, I'll put all those uh, on the blog. Um, but basically they were talking about how things are changing in the US at the moment and I guess one could say that as an independent author it is an exciting time. Okay, so they were talking a bit about what the trends are happening in the US at the moment and obviously the biggest one is that publishing isn't growing so flat is the new up. And so that was, I guess, you know, important, but they did talk about the things that were growing and the biggest of those was young adult writing. So if you were writing a paranormal, you know, romance like Stephanie Meyer, uh, now is still a good time to get into that genre and young adult is still a growing um, genre. So that's pretty exciting. They did also talk about literary fiction and there was a bit of a joke that, you know, literary fiction is all very well, but it doesn't actually sell. So if you're one of those authors who, you know, actually wants to write a blockbuster, that's great. And it doesn't have to be in the literary fiction genre at all. So uh, I've been struggling with that myself. You know, the, the importance of writing literature and being a prize winning author as opposed to a best selling author. So which would you rather be? The other thing they were talking about is that they just can't nurture writers anymore. They can't take on new authors and nurture them over a number of years in order to make them successful. They very much talked about the fact that authors have to grow their own platforms these days. So the New York agent, uh, Catherine, actually did say you have to blog, you have to Twitter, you have to grow your own platform before you approach a publisher. She also said that they will be changing the models of publishing. So there might not necessarily be advances in the future, but they might split the reward and the risk with authors far more. So you might get a 50-50 split on sales, but you might not get an advance. Now these are all new publishing models, but things that you might be interested in hearing about. One of the other things they were talking about is that best-selling fiction authors are still getting big advances, but if you're a mid-list author or a new author, you're very unlikely to get an advanced model. So you might not get that money up front, which is what everybody thinks publishing is about, but it's not. Things are changing. So I guess as a new author, you need to be looking at the opportunities you can use to build your platform online in as many ways as you can, so that you can attract the attention of a publisher. He also talked about the importance of blogging and the fact that uh, agents and publishers are now looking for blogs in which they can make into books because those people do already have a platform. So definitely growing your blog and blogging about your book and your genre is a really good way to go. Some people might be worried that by giving their information away online for free in blog form that that might you know, jeopardize their chances later. But the publishers very definitely said that having a blog and being in the blogosphere was important and wouldn't jeopardize your chances of being published traditionally. One of the successful blogs that is a book here at the festival is Stuff White People Like, which is, uh, has been made into a book and is selling hundreds of thousands of copies. And it's in traditional bookstores. So if you're interested in that, have a look at Stuff White People Like and uh, you know, have a look. One of the things that I've learned is coming to these festivals for an author or creative person is just brilliant because so much time we spend producing means that we sometimes feel a bit empty and we need that time to, I guess, reconnect, spend some time thinking and creating ideas and generating ideas and refilling our sort of It's also very good to get out of your comfort zone. So yesterday I went to a performance poetry session, which was all about how writers speak and how you can improve your speaking and performing as an author, even if you're doing non-fiction. So for example, I was asking about, well, how do I perform my work as a non-fiction author? And we did a whole load of exercises. So, you know, shouting and pretending we were different things. It just really took me outside my comfort zone. So I encourage you to do that. You know, if you go to these writers' festivals, do some things that make you, you know, a little bit concerned and really stretch yourself. And I felt very stretched by this conference. So uh, it's been great at so Sydney Writers' Festival. So, and I also been networking with a whole load of new people who are doing different things in writing and publishing. So definitely these festivals are excellent for networking, meeting people, you know, making friends, finding out what's going on in the industry. So if there is a writer's conference near you or a writer's festival, then definitely go along, check it out, go along to some events and see what's happening. So I'm going to be posting a few blogs on what I've experienced at the Sydney Writers' Festival and uh, yeah, check them out at thecreativepen.com. Thanks, this is Joanna.